Hi, it's Mike here. I thought this time I'd do a quick review of the WFTT07 tabletop touchscreen uh, from Homeseer. It's a custom built uh, Android tablet. Um, it's designed to sit on top of a table. It's got a couple of speakers on either side. Um, again, running the Android operating system. The only real difference of it is the image that's on it has uh, an application for auto starting. HS Touch. So when you first boot it up, it'll automatically load up to your touch screen. Um, for this particular one, I've kept the the design of my HS Touch screens nice and simple. Um, I haven't done anything too complex, as I found uh, while the, the processor on it is adequate, it just doesn't really like lots of lots of variables being thrown at it, lots of uh, high detail screens, and also with the resolution being kind of only 800 by 480. Um, you can't fit too much on it anyway, so I thought best to keep it minimal so it keeps the screens nice and snappy. Um, also for this particular device, I've kept it beside my bed, uh, so I don't need all the full functionality that I would in other parts of the house where I might want to have control over the music and TV and so forth. So I kept the functionality simple. I've kept a clock for the main screen, which I could tap to take through to the subsequent ones. One for uh, appliances and lighting, cameras, thermostat, and just one for the weather, just to keep it simple. In terms of the lighting, it's fairly straightforward. I've just got buttons to represent each of the lights. Um, I do have some other on my tablets, which are designed around sort of scenes where I could turn a collection of lights on and off. Um, haven't really found that that was necessary in the bedroom. It's usually a case of have I left a specific light on and I want to turn it off sooner than the normal timers and events that would control them. Um, but it's functional. I can just touch the buttons. As you see, the lights already come on. I can turn it off again automatically, updating the lights as well. Um, I can press the back button for cameras. Again, there's, I can just select which particular one I want to use. In terms of the camera, I'm using Blue Iris uh, for the collection up all the video signals from a collection of different devices, and then just a custom built web page, and it's just rendering the HTML for the web page. Uh, thermostat, again just a, a few things basically linked into the air conditioning, so if I wanted to turn the aircon on in the lounge or in the bedroom, I could just press the button. Again, it'll uh, do a little audio clip to let you know what it's doing, you may have even heard the beep in the background, it's just an infrared control for the aircon, um, and then it updates the status to what it's currently doing. Uh, and then lastly, one for the weather, just uh, grabbing from Weather XML. Um, look, I say, fairly straightforward. Keep it simple. Don't use the 80s themed HS Touch graphics if you can. Uh, plenty of images you can find freely available under the Google Images. Um, many of them are uh, freely available to use. Uh, certainly not using it for commercial purposes. So have a look around, have a great play with it. Keep it simple is my big advice. Many thanks.